Just when you thought I was done upgrading my Coco 3 computer, I'm back again with another video. Look at all those badges. It's kind of like an old muscle car. The more stickers you add, the more horsepower you get, right? Isn't that how it works? In this video, we're going to see what we can do and increase the memory on this Coco 3. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. In a past Coco 3 video, I upgraded my Color Computer 3 from the stock 128K up to 512K using the Cloud9 Triad board. Well, what you see here is the Cloud9 Triad Plus board that lets you go up to 2048K, which is 2 megabyte of memory. But you'll notice there is a little connector right there. What is that connector for? That is to hook in this MMU board see right there and that will allow the machine to go up to 2 megabyte of memory without the MMU board 512k with this board and the ribbon cable 2048k freaking awesome so let's go ahead and open up the machine and do this upgrade and tell you what's going to happen with the old 512k board I have removed the six screws and we are now looking inside the board here is the original 512 upgrade I did in a past video, link in the description. Here is the upgraded CPU I did as well. So what we have to do now is pull this memory out and pull the CPU out briefly to plug in the MMU board. So let me get this out and we'll uh, do the next steps. Here we go, got the uh, original triad board out. I've got the CPU out. I thought I would show you the two boards side by side for a moment. Here is the original 512K triad board. Here is the new upgraded board with up to two megabyte of memory, as well as the plug port for the MMU. Let me get this installed here real quick and we'll continue on. Here is the MMU board up close and personal. I've already put the CPU in it. And then on the bottom, we'll show you here, you know, it's got pins to plug into the socket, but this is called the uh, Cloud9 Protector Plus MMU. They do just sell a protector board, but uh, without the MMU, but this will uh, have the protection as well as the MMU to protect the CPU. So now I will be installing that right there. The memory board will go over there and we'll get them all connected up. All right, I've got the Triad Plus installed. I've got my MMU board installed and the CPU. I did run into a little snag and I wanna point it out to anybody that might be doing the same upgrade. I recapped the board in a previous video. And if you look right there, you see that cap kind of bent down. I bent that down because it was touching the bottom of the MMU board. So heads up on that. If you're doing a recap and you plan on doing an MMU board, you might want to leave the legs a little longer and bend it out. I'll probably at some point replace that cap and, and do that, but it should still work. It's not touching. Now to connect up the cable from the MMU to the memory board. Just to be thorough in my documentation, there is the ribbon cable between the MMU and the memory board. It's kind of bent up right here, but when I put the case top on, that'll push down probably and it'll be fine but before I button it up and do a badge upgrade say what badge upgrade yes there will be a badge upgrade let's uh give it a quick test and make sure the machine is still working with this installed I've got my switcheroo cable hooked up RGB cable you have to also have the composite hooked up it's part of the the video processing for that I've turned on the machine and it is still working no smoke, no sparks, so that is all good. Now to upgrade the badge on the case. There is my original 128K badge. There is the 512K badge that I installed when I did the previous upgrade. Here is my 2048K badge that I will be installing momentarily. So let's uh, see if this one will come off much easier 
versus that one taking forever. I mean, this one had modern glue, so fingers crossed. Just as I thought, the 512K badge came off pretty easy because it was only, you know, what, a month old sticky versus the 30 plus year old on the original badge. So, original badge, the first upgrade, here is a 2048K badge that is going on next. Man, I thought the 512K badge looked good. That 2048K badge looks amazing. The founders of Radio Shack and Tandy probably never imagined a Coco 3 having two megabytes of memory. That is freaking awesome. All right, let's uh, move on into the next part of the video. Here is a final look at my original 128K badge, my reproduction 512K badge. Here is my Coco 3 with the new reproduction 2048K badge. Down here, we've got the original triad for my buddy and a brand new 512K reproduction badge for him. And at this time, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. These are the folks that support me on patreon.com, patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Here is my Coco SDC. And now time to play some King's Quest on my awesome Color Computer 3. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you in the next video. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go. First off, thanks to all of you that are watching this ending clip here. That means you watched my entire video and I appreciate that very much. This is my buddy's Coco 3. I'm going to be doing the upgrade for him. That's my original 512K board. Um, I did get him a brand new badge. I mentioned that in this official video. And then there, you know, there's my original badges. So there's going to now be two nice 128K original badges available if people want them or need them because uh, he did not want to keep his. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you got this far again, if you want to see how to do this, uh, this upgrade, uh, watch my previous video where I actually did the upgrade on my Coco 3. So now to turn off the camera and get this done for my buddy. Catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.